1999 to 2009 is designated the lost decade by financial backers on the grounds that the most broadly followed stock exchange record, the S&P 500, returned negative 2% for this 10-year time span, and this incorporates the reinvestment of profits. This is a suggestion to financial backers that enormous U.S. stocks can go extensive stretches of time without generating any gains. You are watching Moneybase, and before we hop into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Regardless of whether buy and large profits recuperate, a few organizations will bite the dust or their offers will depreciate en route. Left with lower levels of profit and money setbacks, organizations are probably going to come out on the opposite side of the COVID more indebted. That's important information for the motivation behind why Bridgewater Associates, the world's greatest mutual fund, gave an admonition to customers stating that equity investors could be confronting a lost decade regarding returns. Quote, Globalization, perhaps the largest driver of developed world profitability over the past few decades, has already peaked, Bridgewater said in a note obtained by Bloomberg News. Now, the U.S.-China conflict and global pandemic are further accelerating moves by multinationals to reshore and duplicate supply chains, with a focus on reliability as opposed to just cost optimization. Intel Corp and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing were referred to in the note as two instances of prominent innovation organizations that intend to construct their production offices in the U.S., in spite of the greater expenses that will squeeze edges. It's been an unpleasant stretch for Ray Dalio's Bridgewater, which has procured an expected $58.5 billion for customers since its dispatch in 1975. Obviously, it didn't take long for those words to cause issues down the road for him, taking into account that only one month later, the worldwide economy would basically close down and the U.S. Securities Exchange would get shaken by its greatest retreat since the financial crisis. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shot somewhat lower on Thursday, while both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ Composite finished in the green. The coming years could be a lost decade for value returns as organizations battle to develop their profit, Blackstone's Executive Vice Chairman Tony James told CNBC. James, who's going to the virtual Singapore summit, told CNBC's Squawk Box Asia that stock costs may not ascend further, subsequent to getting completely esteemed over a 5-10 to 10 year skyline. I think this could be a lost decade in terms of equity appreciation, he said. He too explained that current low interest rates may not dip further and may instead rise to more normal levels in the coming years. Higher financing costs, in numerous examples, will in general adversely influence corporate profit and stock costs. High acquiring costs will eat into organization benefits and hurt share costs. There's a hunger yield, so financial backers are falling off the sidelines. Also, searching for speculations that they can get some sort of profits. Likewise, organizations will confront a lot of headwinds that put focus on profit, he said. That incorporates higher charges, expansion in working expenses, less effective inventory chains, and deglobalization that will hurt efficiency, clarified James. All of that will be economic headwinds for companies, so I think you can have disappointing long-term earnings growth with multiples coming in a little bit, and I can see an anemic equity returns over the next 5-10 to 10 years, he added. Do you think that this decade would be the lost decade for U.S. stocks? Let us know in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos.